evaluating Lambert fun W function without using Wolfram alpha. The basic equation of x e raised to the x equals n. And initial approximation x sub 0, which is equal to the w function of n, is approximately equal to 0.23 divided by e to the n plus 0.735 and quantity multiplied by ln of 1 plus n, where n is greater than 0 and uh, up, uh, less than about 1,000. This formula will just give an approximate value and will need to be summed in by this approximation formula, where x1 x of 1 is approximately equal to x of 0 times 1 plus ln of n divided by x of 0 divided by x of 0 plus 1. This is for summing the initial answer. You can iterate this one if higher accuracy is needed. Example, find the w of ln of 2. That, that means n is equal to ln of 2. So, x sub 0 is approximately equal to 0.23 divided by e raised to the ln of 2 plus 0.735 quantity multiplied by ln of 1 plus ln of 2. And we know that e raised to the ln of 2 is also equal to 2. So it's equal to 0 0.23 divided by 2 plus 0 0.735 times ln of quantity 1 plus 0 0.693147182 that is equivalent to ln of 2. So x sub 0 is approximately equal to 0 0.115 plus 0 0.735 multiplied by ln of 1.693147182. The initial x is approximately equal to 0 0.85 multiplied by the value of this one is 0 0.52658934. So the initial value x sub 0 is approximately equal to 0 0.4476. So this is just the first estimate. To zoom in with uh, the value, you have to use this approximation formula. Where the second x, x of 1, is approximately equal to x of 0 multiplied by 1 plus ln, ln of n over x of 0 divided by 1 plus x of 0. So using x of 0 is 0 0.4476, x1 is approximately equal to 0 0.4476 multiply quantity. 1 plus ln of ln of 2 divided by 0 0.4476 divided by 1 plus 0 0.4476. x1 approximately equal to 0 0.4476 multiplied by quantity 1 plus ln of this one. ln of 2 divided by 0 0.4476 divided by 1 plus 0 0.4476. And following the calculation x1 eventually become 0.4476 multiplied by 1.4373423832 divided by 1.4476. So the second approximation, x1, is approximately equal to 0.4444283329. So if you want, you can still rewrite using this value to do the another iteration but just checking this value assuming using this value to check so point 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 four 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 two eight three two nine e to the the same value is approximate is equal to point six nine three one two nine six eight nine four 
in which the true value is actually equal to ln of 2, right? So 0 0.693147828. So it's accurate up to here. Our second example is to find of the W value of 100. That's, that means N equal, equals to 100. So X e to the X equals to 100. To find the initial X equals to 0 0.23 divided by e to the N plus 0 0.735 multiplied by ln of 1 plus 100. So here... When n is 100, so e to the 100 is a very large number. So 0 0.23, 0 0.23 divided by that large number is almost, almost equal to 0. So eliminate, el eliminating this part, just use the 0 0.735. So x of 0 is approximately equal to 0 0.735 multiplied by ln of this one, 1 plus 100. So ln of 101. So, x sub 0 is approximately equal to 0 0.735 times 4.61512 So, the initial estimate is x sub 0 is approximately equal to 3 3.392113593358. So, zooming in using the approximation formula, x sub 1 is approximately equal to 3.3921358 multiplied by 1 plus ln of 100 divided by 3.3921358 divided by 1 plus 3.3921358. Continue solving x1. Is equal to this one 3.3921358 multiply quantity 1 plus ln of 29.4801494 divided by 4.3921358. So continue solving, you will get x sub 1 is approximately equal to 3.38. Five six two eight seven two eight. So stopping at this point, checking for if this value is okay. So checking three point three eight five six two eight seven two eight e raised to the the same value will give you equals to ninety nine point nine 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 eight one seven zero two. Of course, the true value is uh, back to the same n is equal to 100. So it's already getting very close.